Imagine standing so still that your body gives in, yet you're trained to collapse with such control that even in fainting, your discipline is unmistakable. <coughs> this is the stark reality for the Queen's Guards, a testament to their unwavering commitment and the extreme demands of their duty. These guards, often seen as statuesque figures outside royal residences, embody a level of dedication that goes far beyond the average job's requirements. It's a role where standing perfectly still isn't just part of the job. It's a symbol of strength and resilience in the face of physical strain. The guards are trained to maintain their composure and posture to such an extent that, should they feel faint from standing for hours, often under the relentless British sun or the biting cold, they are instructed to faint in a very specific manner. Falling forwards, they must remain in their ceremonial stance, ensuring that even in this vulnerable moment, they uphold the dignity and formality of their role. A sneaky break-in that shocked everyone. In the early hours of July 9th, 1982, a rather astonishing incident unfolded that tested the limits of Buckingham Palace's security and left the world in disbelief. Michael Fagan, an ordinary man with no ties to royalty or the government, managed to find his way into one of the most secure residences on the planet. This wasn't just a simple oversight. It was a sequence of events that seemed almost impossible. Fagan didn't just breach the perimeter. He actually entered Queen Elizabeth II's very bedroom, sparking a nationwide conversation about security protocols. What makes this event particularly jaw-dropping isn't just the break-in itself, but how Fagan accomplished it. Climbing over the palace walls and wandering inside, he found the Queen's bedroom purely by chance. The Queen, finding herself face to face with an intruder, had to keep her composure and engage in conversation with Fagan until help arrived. The aftermath of Fagan's intrusion led to a sweeping review of royal security measures. Questions were raised about how someone could penetrate so deeply into the palace without being detected sooner. It was a wake-up call that even the most stringent security measures could be circumvented with enough audacity and perhaps a bit of luck. What it takes to wear the uniform. Earning a spot as a Royal Guard is no walk in the park. It's a position that demands more than just physical strength. It's about mental toughness, resilience, and a level of discipline most can't fathom. To wear the iconic uniform, candidates undergo a rigorous selection process that tests every fibre of their being, both mentally and physically. First off, there's the British Army Recruit Battery, Barb Test, a challenging assessment that measures cognitive abilities, logical reasoning and problem-solving skills. This isn't just about being fit, it's about proving you've got the mental sharpness to handle complex situations with the poise and decisiveness expected of a royal guard. Then, there's the physical aspect. The guards are known for their imposing presence, a critical part of which is their height. While the height requirements have recently been adjusted to be more inclusive, making the force more diverse, the fact remains that being a guard requires a certain physical stature and endurance. Standing still for hours, regardless of the weather, requires not just physical training, but an incredible amount of mental fortitude. Moreover, potential guards must showcase exceptional discipline and the ability to maintain composure under pressure. This isn't just about standing guard. It's about representing centuries of tradition and the dignity of the role they play in the UK's national heritage. The true story behind those red jackets and tall hats. The iconic red jackets and tall, furry bearskin hats of the Royal Guards aren't just for show. These elements are steeped in history and purpose. The bright red jackets, for instance, date back centuries and were chosen for a very practical reason. The red dye was one of the most readily available and durable colours at the time. This made it easier to maintain a uniform appearance among the troops. Beyond practicality, the vivid red also makes the guards stand out during ceremonial duties, symbolising strength and valour. As for the towering bearskin hats, they serve more than an aesthetic function. Originally intended to make soldiers appear taller and more intimidating on the battlefield, these hats have become a symbol of the guard's prestigious role in protecting the monarchy. The use of real fur over synthetic alternatives is a testament to tradition and durability. 
ensuring the hats withstand the test of time and the rigours of British weather. Battling the British weather in full gear. Facing the unpredictable British weather head-on, Royal Guards are a testament to resilience and discipline, clad in their iconic uniforms which include heavy woolen coats and the distinctive tall bearskin hats. They stand their ground come rain or shine. These guards, embodying the spirit of dedication, endure the discomfort of sweltering heat waves and torrential downpours without a hint of retreat. The challenge is not just about the physical weight of the gear, but also maintaining the pristine condition of their attire, especially the black glossy boots that require regular polishing to meet the exacting standards of the Royal Guard. Keeping spirits high with songs and scenes. Imagine standing in one spot for hours, not moving an inch. Sounds tough, right? That's exactly what the Royal Guards do, and they've come up with a clever way to keep their spirits up and minds sharp. While their bodies remain still, their minds are on a journey, reciting their favourite songs or replaying memorable movie scenes in their heads. This mental exercise isn't just about passing time. It's a critical strategy for maintaining focus and mental wellness under the strain of their duties. It helps them to momentarily escape the physical demands of their role and stay alert, ensuring they're ready for any situation. When guards and civilians share a moment, in the world of the Royal Guards, there's an unspoken rule of stoicism and silence. However, on the rarest occasions, this silence is broken, not by orders or duty, but by human compassion. Picture this, a scorching summer day in London, the heat radiating off the pavement, and there stands a guard, unflinching in his heavy uniform, a symbol of resilience. Then, an act of kindness from a fellow officer, offering a bottle of water. It's a moment where duty meets humanity, Accepting the water, the guard momentarily steps out of the role, not just as a protector of the palace, but as a person grateful for a simple act of kindness. This interaction, brief yet profound, reminds us that beneath the uniform, there's a person enduring the extremes for the sake of duty and tradition. Music and marches, a modern twist to tradition. Beyond the solemn marches and stoic faces, royal guards bring an unexpected twist to tradition. During ceremonial events, these iconic figures can suddenly shift the atmosphere from formal to festive by incorporating contemporary music into their routines. Imagine the Buckingham Palace courtyard echoing with themes from famous movies or popular songs, all played by the regimental band. This blend of modernity with tradition does more than entertain. It bridges generations, connecting the historic institution of the monarchy with the public of today. It's a creative nod to the evolving nature of cultural appreciation, demonstrating that even the guardians of time-honoured customs can adapt and resonate with the pulse of the modern world. Breaking Barriers, a female guard, makes history. In 2017, a groundbreaking moment reshaped centuries-old traditions when Megan Kuto became the first female captain to lead the Queen's Guard. This historic event marked a significant stride towards gender equality within one of the most prestigious units of the British Army. Kuto's appointment wasn't just a personal achievement. It symbolised a broader shift in military norms and practices, challenging and ultimately changing the perception of roles women can play in the armed forces. Her leadership during the changing of the guard ceremony at Buckingham Palace wasn't merely a duty. It was a powerful statement of progress, proving that honour, discipline and leadership know no gender. The hidden meanings in their uniforms. Every detail on a Royal Guard's uniform tells a story, a testament to history and valour. The buttons arranged in groups on their jackets aren't just for show. They signify the Guard's regiment, with each arrangement unique to a specific group, tracing back to olden times when such details could distinguish allies from foes in battle. The medals and badges they wear are not mere decorations, but symbols of personal and regimental achievements, each earned through dedication and exemplary service. Even the colour and style of their uniforms serve a purpose, reflecting roles and duties that have evolved over centuries. 